For years, the displaced people of Bakasi Peninsula have lived like refugees after the ceding of their original homeland to Cameroon. Left largely to their own devices, many of them have sought abode at St. Mark's Nursery and Primary School in Apabuyo local government area of Cross River State under rather unflattering conditions. When the IC judgment against us, we lose our landmark, we lose our fatherland, we lose our source of livelihood, we lose our God and even our ancestral home. That sad tale seems about to change as the Bakasi residents are getting new and decent accommodation, courtesy of Governor Ben Ayade. The two-bedroom apartments at this estate make a world of difference from the primary school classrooms. Today, I, I, I feel a sense of fulfillment having been here to see my son, my daughter, my mother, my uncle, my auntie living in a clustered accommodation of a primary school with mosquitoes feasting on them with no place to farm, no place to lay their head. The Obong of Calabar and a prominent Bakasi indigen, Senator Florence Itagiwa, supervised the handing over of the keys to the buildings to the beneficiaries. But they also remind the federal government of the people's other peculiar needs. The country has experienced so many problems and there are so many IDP camps all over the country and they know exactly what they are planning. So this time around, their plight or whatever they are planning should equally include the people of Bakasi. I'm here for the first time that those particular refugees that were driven out, they were not driven out out of seeding. It was just after seeding that they were trying to organize themselves then. Kewonu soldiers died. So they were not forced to go out because they thought that they are the ones you know, that created the mayhem. So today they have been given these beautiful houses that even I can make it a holiday home. <laughs> While the new residents of the expansive estate are grateful for their new homes, many of their still displaced kinsfolk, who are not so fortunate, would also be hoping for their own day in the sun.